Hello Washington Eagles, it is Wednesday, May 13th, it is math time. We practice multiplying some decimals, I don't know if it was last week or the week before, um, but we're going to multiply some more. So remember, <coughs> um, whenever you're multiplying decimals, it's different than when you're adding or subtracting decimals, because remember, whenever you're adding decimals, um, all we do is we just drop down our decimal. 3 plus 3 is 6. 6 plus 2 is 8. And we drop down that decimal with no problem. And then that is it. But when we are, now remember when we're multiplying, we have to hop. Now we practiced this before um, school closed for the pandemic. We did practice these, so we're going to practice some more. Okay? So um, remember we're multiplying less than a whole times a whole number, okay? So this number is going to be smaller than you think, okay? So 6 times 3 is 18, so plus 1, 8 down here. 6 times 2 is 12, plus 1 is 13. So we're just going to write our numbers like we normally would. We're just multiplying like we would normally multiply. So now, now we have to figure out the decimal. So the decimal, we have to make our hops. Remember doing that, we have to hop. So we have to get to this decimal. We're going to start here. One, two, there's our two hops. We're gonna do the same thing here. One, two, there's our decimal. So we have $1.38, okay? Let's practice another one. Um, 48 cents times three. All right, so three times eight is 24, so two, four. Three times four is 12. Plus 2, 12, 13, 14, 4. How many hops are we going to make? 2. We're going to make 2 hops. 1, 2, 1, 2. So our answer is $1.44. Okay? Okay, so I'm going to put a decimal right here. We'll see what happens. Okay? So 7 times 5 is 35. 7 plus 3. <coughs> 6 times 5 is 30, plus 3 is 33. Now, how many hops are we going to make? We have to count all the hops in the whole problem, okay? So we have to make 1, 2, 3. 3 hops. 1, 2, 3. <coughs> so, <coughs> um, 67 hundredths times 5 tenths is 335 thousandths. So remember, this is the tenths, the hundredths, and the thousandths, okay? So that's how you multiply um, with decimals. We'll practice a couple more. Let's practice, let's say, we're going to make it a bigger number, $32.53, $32.53 times 6. All right, so 6 times 3 is 18, plus 1, 8 down here. 6 times 5 is 30, plus 1 is 31, so plus 3, 1 down here. 6 times 2 is 12. Plus 3, 12, 13, 14, 15. Plus 1, 5 down, goes down here. And 6 times 3 is 18. Plus 1 is 19. So we're just writing like we normally would. All right, let's make our hops. How many hops are we going to make? Are there any decimals down here? Mm -mm. There's a decimal right there. So how many hops are we going to make? 1, 2. 1, 2. So... Our answer is $195.18. Okay, because remember, we're multiplying decimals, so our numbers aren't going to be nearly as big. <clears throat> if we were to take away that decimal, what would we have? We would have 19,518. So the decimals make a pretty big difference between 19,000 and... $195. So decimals make a big difference. You have to treat them differently than when you're adding or subtracting them. Um, I'm not sure we ever got to dividing with decimals, so we're not going to do that. 
uh, we are going to practice one more and then and then that will be all. All right, so we're going to say $56.12. $56.12 times 9. Now remember, <clears throat> When we're working with nines, you can use your fingers. Hey, there's no shame in using your fingers, people. No shame whatsoever. All right, so nine times two, but you should know nine times two, because it's just nine plus nine. So nine times two is 18. So plus one, eight down here. Nine times one plus one. So nine, 10 plus one, zero down here. Nine times six, nine times six. Oh, I hate it when it's the pinky, it's hard to hold down. Remember, your um, tens are on this side and your ones are on this side. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. So 54 plus 1 is 55 plus 5 and 5 down here. 9 times 5 is 45. You got it. 45 plus 5 is 50. So 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. So we're going to just write our 50. Here we go. How many hops are we going to make? We're going to make two. One, two. One, whoops, sorry. One, two. One, two. One, two. Here we go. So our answer is $505.08. All right. So what if we had a decimal? What if we made it like this? What if we said, whoops, we're going to make that a zero just because, you know, just to make life interesting. All right, so we're going to leave this the same, although it'd be good to, for you to practice your multiplication. So we're going to erase this because remember, we're not going to worry. When you're multiplying, we don't worry about decimals until we're done multiplying our problem. Okay, so we're going to leave this the same. All right, so now we got to throw in some zeros. All right, so the first thing we got to do is we've got to put a zero in that ones place. All right, now let's count up your zeros. Zero times two is zero. Zero times one is zero. Zero times six is zero. And zero times five is zero. Let's add those up. Now, so now we've got to look at our how many decimals. So we have one, two, one, two. So we have four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And our answer is five. I'm not going to add that because I don't, I think I have a hard time saying this number. But there's a zero in the tenth place, I won't lie. Um, so our answer would be 5.0508 because we have to count up all those hops. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I have to do it like that or else it doesn't work out for me. Okay, so the zero makes a humongous difference. And if you want to check your work by multiplying, then do so. All right, that's it, my friends. I will see you all later. All right, take good care. Love you guys. Bye.